Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy on PC and in this video I wanted to show you how you can update your Daisy local server that you've installed on your local PC so maybe you can play single player Daisy or use it for testing or using it for content creation that sort of stuff. Now the first place to go is always to Steam and into your library and make sure you've got games and tools selected and then go down to Daisy server be underneath Daisy Daisy experiment and all that sort of stuff and then if it's not updated you'll see the launch icon will say update so that's the first thing to do so update that now you may well have done that and your server still um, won't work properly so you'll try and join and it will say something like um, normally says something like the client has a newer version of Daisy or this client has a mod that's newer than the server please wait for the server to be updated that's generally the thing that will happen and what happens is when when the server gets updated um, if we go over here so this is where my server is Daisy server uh, what it means is uh, the Daisy um, server exe if you like Daisy server uh, underscore x64 the program daisy bit gets updated um, and the uh, mission files get updated so if you go into the missions and go into channel plus for example for for this update 1.13 you know in the event in the types you'll have the m16 and, and this applies to all future ones however what doesn't get updated on the server and this is the thing that's probably tripping you up are the mods the mods don't get updated um, so you have to do them manually now luckily it's really easy all you need to do is go into another window and probably in the same folder that you've got daisy server which will be something like local disk c user your username program files xa16 steam apps common something something like that but probably with your username in there as well you'll see daisy and daisy server and all you need to do is open up the Daisy and you go in this bit here, Workshop. So if you double click in there, these are the latest versions. Now, what should have happened already, if you go to Daisy, it will have been updated. And hopefully, by the time you come to update your server, the people who make the mods will have updated their mods too. So what you can then do is in your Daisy Workshop folder, you just copy any mods that you're using on your server like that and you would right click copy and then you would go into your server and this is where the mods are and right click place and it will just overwrite them now the only thing that might be a little bit different is if your server is running a mod that has um, add-ons in it um, that might be updated as well. I'm thinking particularly things like, um, say, uh, the Essica um, or uh, Namalsk or Deer Isle. There may well be some mission files that you'll have to update as well. And this really depends on the particular mod. Um, maybe a item pack as well. And what, what they may well have is some extra bits that you need to put in. Specifically, um, it may be with the... With the um, with the map mods it tends to be xmls that go in the missions folder so what you'd have to go what you'd have to know is for that particular mod say namalsk um, or deer isle you'd have to download the particular uh, xml mission files and upload them into into the particular part of the, your missions folder however that normally doesn't stop um the game from running it just means that you won't be able to take advantage of new items so when there's an update on the mouse you must make sure you download the mouse missions sometimes stuff is included inside the mod sometimes it sometimes it isn't now the other thing and you could check as well is if you're not sure about the not sure about the xml's if you go to bohemia interactive github and i'll put a link in the description below you have you can download the latest uh, files anyway so you can go to code download zip um, and then extract the files and what you'll find here is these are all the latest xml's so if for some reason you think your uh, daisy server hasn't been updated with the latest xml's because you check for example the um, types file and it doesn't have the m16 in it or whatever the new thing is then you then as soon as bohemia interactive have published the, the the latest vanilla xml's you can just copy them over the top of the existing ones 
One thing you may want to do is storage one is the folder that um, holds all the data for the progression of your character and buildings. And if you're using the, the server for say content creation or testing purposes, if you delete that folder, the, the, the server starts again um, and you, you'll uh, be good to go with a nice fresh server in terms of stuff on it. So there we go, that my friends is how you update your local server. Most problems are caused not by the server not updating, because that's relatively easy to do within Steam, but by the um, mods not working. And as I say before, it's really easy. You just copy them over from your Daisy workshop folder uh, into your server folder, making sure that if it's a special type mod, like a map mob mod, you also get hold of the missions uh, XMLs and you put them in the relevant missions folder in your server too. So there we go, hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit the like button if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.